Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today, which is tonight, we're back on our video. Tonight, we're doing some key lime pie, which is homemade, so check it out. Yeah, I got all the ingredients right here, which is the whipped cream, sweet condensed milk, the lime juice, since I already poured out already, and also the graham cracker pie crust, you know? Yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once we get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So, once you got your bowl out, all you do now is just pour the sweet condensed milk. Yeah, like that. Yep, and all you gotta do now is just scrape the rest of it off, which I'm gonna do off camera. And I'm gonna keep it at it once, get all the sweet condensed milk scraped off. Hey guys, I'm back. So, once you pour all the condensed milk in there, all you gotta do now is just add the whipped cream, which is the part of the creaminess of key lime pie, since I used to have it before and stuff. So yeah, but it's my first time making it on my own. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm gonna scrape it off. And I'm gonna keep it it once I get start start mixing this stuff. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your whipped cream in there, all you do now is just finally mix it in. That's all I'm doing right now. Just get this up mixed in. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep it in there and I'm gonna keep this up mixed in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got get done mixing the you know whipped cream and sweet condensed milk, and all we're gonna do, gonna do just do our last thing by adding a half a cup of lime juice, yeah, like that. Once you get the half a cup of lime juice in there, yeah, get it mixed in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got done, get done mixing that lime juice with the sweet condensed milk and also the whipped icing and whipped cream in there, and all I'm gonna do now is just finally pour this stuff into the pie crust. And I'm keeping it later once I get the pie crust out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your graham curve pie crust out, all you gotta do now is just pour the key, uh, the key lime pie filling in there. Like that. Yeah, I gotta scrape it off. Get, gotta get it all off, you know? Okay, once you got your filling into the pie crust, all you gotta do now is just try your best to, to spit it out. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna keep it at once. I get the feeling I'll spit it out. Hey guys, Max. So once you, you know, got your feeling all oh yeah, spread it out and stuff onto this pie crust, but I took some out since it was a bit too much. But I didn't make it make it work and stuff. So yeah. Okay. Once you did all that, all you do now is just get a lid. Put it in there tightly. And use your fingers to, to get the middle edges back up, mm, you know. But hey, it takes a lot of practice though, you know. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's tight. And there you go. That's all you have to do. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I put this in the fridge since I bet it's gonna be like two or three hours. 
Hey guys, I'm back. So once you put your key lime pie in the in the refrigerator, so yeah, and all I don't need to do, yeah, do now. Just let this sit for like three to or, or like two hours, or wait overnight. Since we know I might, you know, cut it until tomorrow or something like that. Just depends on. It. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the key lime pie is sitting is you know selling is selling for a long time. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. So it's been, you know, around three hours. So the the human pie has been set for like three hours. So let's open it and see, and see how it is. Yep, and here you go. I guess see, that's how you do the human pie and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm, yep. And I'm gonna give you a bit. One side. You know, give me a, let's see, give me a piece of this, a little slice of this healing pie. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I okay, want your healing pie has been selling, selling in in the fridge for three hours. All we have to do now, just cut us a piece. We'll cut me a piece. Okay. Yeah, let's see, once you get that piece cut, you know, I want to maybe now just get a fork and I'm gonna keep it a once I get a fork out. Hey guys, I'm back. So, once you get that piece cut, all you do now just scoop it off like that. But that's all right though. Just pie, kill on pie. I'm gonna leave how it is and stuff, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated since you know the insides are looking nice. And I'm gonna keep you updated. Oh, yeah, once I show you the kiln pie. Hey guys, I'm back. So the kiln pie that I got is gonna be super amazing since, yes, since I forgot, since I should have, you know, let it go for another hour or so so yeah so just to keep on pie and stuff so yeah so let's get this kiln pie taste test in three two one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that kiln pie is so good it tastes, oh yeah, it tastes exactly like the real deal, the killing pie and stuff, so yeah, it has that tangy flavor and stuff, so yeah, and I'm going to keep you updated once I get through, through this killing pie. Hey guys, I'm back, so the killing pie that I had is super amazing and delicious, so check out this killing pie, just, you know, just add a slice, mm-mm-mm, I eat to that, I eat to that pie, you know, and here's the rest of this killing pie. Good, you know, got that cream this texture and stuff, so yeah. And that's all for this video on Killing Pie. And also, that video is going to go up on Friday if you get a chance. So, yeah, for YouTube, if you're new to this channel, please hit a like, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell if you get a chance. So, yeah, for YouTube, I'm going to wrap this up. And it's been your boy, G Miles. Peace out.